Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And I've just arrived at my playhouse here and it's, uh, well, I've been around and turned on the lights because you need lights to uh, film anything. But um, I just arrived and it's very cool here. So I kind of wanted to show you how I heat up this place. And, uh, and the light is flickering. Weird. But to show you this, I was I wanted to show you the the measuring measuring thing for the for the temperature. The thermometer. Thermometer. It's so cold. And how do I do this? And it shows that is. Outside it's 1.4 degrees Celsius and inside it's 6.6 .6. and if I press the button we will have it in Fahrenheit. There we are, Fahrenheit. So outside it's 34.5 degrees Fahrenheit and inside it's 43.9. This is probably as good as it gets. So. And that's too cool for me. So we're gonna go fire up the, the heat pump and my wood stove. Um, first the heat pump. Right here is the heat pump. Right behind me. Right there. And right now it's turned off and I like I'm pretty cheap so I don't want to use any money that's not necessary and so I measure the amount of power that I use on my heat pump and we can go see that let's go let's go see <clears throat> I have had installed a power meter for the heat pump here. Make sure that you can see the numbers. Well, we can see the number. And I had this installed uh, last year. And since then it has used 4,975 and something kilowatt hours. Um, which is quite a lot. <clears throat> it's a lot of money anyway. Uh, we pay about two crowners for one kilowatt and I'll I'll have that translated into dollars so, but to turn on the heat pump you press there and it should power on I think maybe once more Okay, now oh, it's. I think it's on, yeah. So I'll go down into the basement and we'll fire up the wood stove. I'll just have to check if there's some wood down there. <clears throat> oh, and there's no water on the floor. Very nice. That's a lot better than the last time. It's not a lot. It's not a lot of light stuff. Oh, we we have a box of wood in here, so we can we can fire up the wood stove. Um, the wood stove have this thing that regulates the amount of air that comes in, and when I'm not here, I always turn it off so that the chimney will not suck in air uh, for no reason at all. So we'll just. Put that back on and it's it has the right length and everything so uh, well there's really no reason to clean that up it will be it will burn just as good without so I'll just in with the wood well, typical 
piece that is too big. This is all wood that I, I've gotten from my mom who got a new roof and she called me and asked do you want all the all the old wood and I wanted that that's pretty good to start with and then we need to light it up matches very ordinary straight matches right like that I have some wooden blocks, like these are really meant for starting a fire. So, put in what's down there. And just make sure that the fire has got a hole of the block before I put it in. Otherwise, sometimes I put in the block and then it goes out. And it usually takes some time before this the stove is fired up completely it will get there so let's let's make a break and see when it when it's firing uh, it's, it's actually going quite well right now the heat pump has this storage tank of uh, 500 liters of water and I actually use antifreeze in the water. It's not a it's not a strong mix, but it it should be able to withstand at least four or five degrees below zero. And right now the temperature in the storage tank is just above 10, 10 degrees Celsius. And that should be good. Last weekend when I arrived here the temperature was about 6 degrees in the storage tank and that actually gave me some problems because the heat pump didn't want to turn on because the water was too cold and right now it actually looks like it's it's on this this symbol shows that the heat pump is on I'm a, bit, I'm a bit unsure if I actually turned it off again oh now it's on there is the temperature can you see that better without the lights. Okay. Right now the temperature of the water leaving the heat pump is 14.2 degrees Celsius. And now my phone is calling. I'll get back to you. So back to the heat pump. Uh, and now the temperature has risen to 14.6 degrees. So slowly it's increasing the temperature of the water coming out of the heat pump and all the radiators well, let's go into the living room and see the radiators they are set for 21 degrees and it will take some time before before they can start shut, shutting down and right now it's it's cold and i've got another thermometer right here, a very old analog one, 
and it says the temperature is about about 7 degrees Celsius. So it <clears throat> before I started insulating the house, I could uh, I could start heating Friday Friday evening when I arrived here, and the house would be nice and warm uh, around Sunday when I had to go home. Sunday it would be nice, and then I would leave. It sounds pretty good now. The fire is, yeah, this is good. This is very good. So we're getting there. It will still take some hours before before the heat is, is worth mentioning. So this is how I heat the house. <clears throat> oh, we just got 15 degrees. 15.4. Nice. So let's see the time. On the thermometer. Oh, it's too dark in here. The time is 18.45 and the temperature is 6.9. So let's see when it gets hotter. just happens to have a, a transportable gas stove as well so to heat up a small area like this living room that I usually use when I get here I use the gas stove when it's really cold and uh, well it's right now the temperature is it's just became seven degrees in the, in, the, in this little living room so I turn on the gas stove just to to speed it up a bit, so um, six, six, seven degrees Celsius is not a lot. It's what is it, 40, 34 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's not really that com comfortable. So use this to heat it up, speed it up, heat speed it up. So it's it's quite a bit later now. Actually, some time has passed. I had some visitors. And the time is now. You can't see that. Or at least I can see if you can see that. The time is now 21.27 or 27 minutes past nine. The outside temperature is 1.7 degrees and the inside temperature is 14.2. And we'll just press the button and get that in Fahrenheit. Which, so outside is 35 degrees, 35.1, and inside it's 57.6. So it has helped firing up the stove and the, the heat pump is working. Ah! Let's go see the heat pump. Yeah, the heat pump is not running right now. The, the heat pump symbol is not on. That's before that's because the stove. The wood stove is doing all the heating right now. I have been feeding it and it's doing quite well right now. So it takes some time to heat up this house. It's a rather big house. It's about 168 square meters. And I will see if I can translate that to square feet but yeah this was a little video about heating the house and actually also why it's so important to insulate everything like the wall behind me 
that I have insulated and uh, when the wall is well insulated I don't have to heat as much um, uh, when when I bought this house um, it took like two days to heat it up when it was really cool like when I arrived today it would take me two days to to heat it up and now I can do it in four or five hours so it's quite an improvement and it takes a lot of power to raise the, the temperature from the, the six seven degrees to uh, yeah the 21 degrees that I really prefer um, so yeah, that was a little video about that um, please subscribe and you'll see me again bye bye